Have you ever thought about ways to move from DynamoDB to a monstrously fast database? Today, I'm going to introduce you to SideLDB Amazon DynamoDB Compatible API, nickname Alternator, a feature that can save you a lot of money and deliver a way better throughput to your application. So let's get started, okay? What's up, folks? My name is Daniel Reis. I'm a developer advocate here at SideLDB, and today I'm going to introduce you to the SideLDB Alternator feature. The alternator is a feature that adds full compatibility with the DynamoDB API. Just in case you don't know, DynamoDB is a document key value database as a service provided by Amazon. Users can interact with Dynamo through APIs, SDKs, and any programming interface provided by Amazon or his own community. The SiloDB alternator gives you the same REST API that DynamoDB has, making the switching from Dynamo to Scylla a breeze. If you're planning to reduce your DynamoDB costs by up to 170, SiloDB Alternator can be a good approach. And the most interesting part, besides being less expensive, it's still faster than DynamoDB. After a benchmark, we validated that SiloDB has 20 times better throughput in hot partition tests compared to Dynamo. Also, SiloDB can help you to avoid vendor lockdown by running in many cloud providers as you want, including ours, or even in your own data center. And if you're interested in more information about this benchmark, check the link in the description and you're going to find a full detailed report, okay? Now, let's going to jump in some code. So, after a quick search, I just found out on the AWS doc repository some real cool examples using Python, which is basically creating a few crude operations. As you can see here, it's using the Boto3 SDK, which is the Python SDK for the AWS and we're loading the DynamoDB resource so we can start to doing requests for the server. But first, we need to point it to our local environment or our cloud environment. And for that, we need to jump into the Docker or SiloDB clouds to be setting up our first cluster, okay? First, we're going to run the DynamoDB local to do the first tests, and then we're going to do our drop-in replacement by switching to the Scylla container, okay? So if you want to run it in your local machine, just use this command and we're going to be good. Now about Scylla. One of the things that we're really proud at SciLaDB is how easy it is to configure our environment. And the same goes for the alternator. Here you have the default Scylla installation, which is basically this command right here on the Docker in the case. And if you want to add the DynamoDB compatible API, you just need to add these two flags on your start script and we're going to be good. So it's basically like that. For now, it's not, it's not going to run because we have the Dynamo running on the same port, but now we're going to do some tests and see if this script that the AWS provides us works on Dynamo perfectly, okay? But if you don't want to set up in your local environment, you can use the SiloDB Cloud. After you create your SiloDB account, you just need to go into the new cluster dedicated VM and do some cool name here. Choose between the, the cloud provider that you want, which is AWS and Google Cloud. And if you want in your AWS account or at the Scylla AWS account, and don't forget to check the DynamoDB compatible API instead the SQL, okay? The region and then some policies. And if you want to try our sandbox, I highly recommend you to use the T3 micro. You have 30 days to test it at then you just need to follow with the next instructions, okay? First, we're going to run the script using the DynamoDB. For that, I just made some minor changes here on the script where I just added the endpoint URL for each script and removed the AWS key access ID and the access secret, okay? The rest is still the same. And I did some simple script to run all of this at once, okay? So let's run and see what's going to happen. Okay, so it's run it, all of the scripts inside our, our Dynamo container as expected. And now we're going to switch into Scylla. So we're going to shut down the DynamoDB local and get up the SciLaDB alternator. It's going to take a while to take SciLaDB container up like around one minute. So let's wait for this. Now it should be good. 
there's a message right here. It's basically seal the version and now we're good to go. Cool. Um, so we're going to run the same script. Now it's pointing to the Scylla DB alternator API. And let's see, we started to receive some messages here as well. The schema change it. And the same operations that we did on the previous run is being done at the Scylla DB. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider to subscribing into the Scylla DB channel and don't forget to follow us on socials. If you have any content suggestion, please let us know here on the comments below and we're going to do our best to be delivering it for you. I also strongly recommend you to go to the Scylla University and take our free courses on Scylla and the Alternator project. Okay, see you next time and bye-bye.